Union Culture and Tourism Minister Pralad Patel, who visited the Red Fort to take stock of the damage by agitating farmers during the tractor rally on Wednesday, said that he has directed officials to register an FIR against the vandalism immediately. Minister has directed officials to also submit a report at the earliest and hand it over to Ministry of Home Affairs. Patel, along with police and other officials, visited the incident spot where broken shards of glass, scattered pieces of paper, vandalized ticket counter, metal detector gate, and police caps were seen strewn around. The rift within the groups of protesting farmers surfaced as two farmer groups pulled out of the protest against the centre's three farm laws today, a day after violence erupted during the Republic Day tractor rally. Kisan Sanghash Committee and a faction of Bharti Kisan Union, the BKU, also dissociated itself from the movement. Farmers' groups have alleged a conspiracy to torpedo their peaceful movement after the city witnessed unprecedented violence on Republic Day. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa and his former Industries Minister Murukesh Nirani on Wednesday were granted protection from arrest by the Supreme Court who took up their petition against the revival of a criminal case against them. Hearing the petition by Yadurappa, Chief Justice S.A. Bobdi remarked, you are a sitting Chief Minister. Who will issue a warrant against you? At most, they can issue a request for you. The Supreme Court has turned down the plea for protection for makers and actors of web series Tandav. The plea was filed by director Ali Abbas Safar and actors Saif Ali Khan and Mohammad Sishan Ayub, among others. The Apex Court also asked the members of the web series to approach the High Court for anticipatory bail or quashing of FIRs. The Supreme Court on Wednesday stated the Bombay High Court order, which acquitted a man under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act, saying groping a minor's breast without skin-to-skin -skin contact cannot be termed as sexual assault. Venugopal, while mentioning the matter before the bench, submitted that the judgment of the High Court is unprecedented and is likely to set a dangerous precedent. <laughs>